Oh, good golly gosh. Welcome. Who said who says that? No one says that, man. No one says that, man. Jesus. Welcome back to RPG Maker MZ Dev Diary number what number is this? Like number like 14, I think. The dev diary for my game called Synapse Fade. Today what I really want to do is fine tune this cutscene. Get this like ready to go um, and, and be done with it. And then I want to at least generate the map for the first like introductory or tutorial level of the dreamscape. So what's going to happen is all this cutscene is going to play out. The main character is going to get teleported into like uh, sort of an intro room, maybe. He's going to get some robot companions that are going to basically mimic the stats and skills of the companions that we got earlier. And then you're going to kind of get your first taste of the dreamscape, which is, you know, the randomized loot and stuff like that. So I want to make that uh, first level. And I think I, I think that'll probably close out the video for today. All right, let's let's test this. I want to test this cutscene out and see where we left off. The first half of the cutscene is fine. You're going to see the character standing up here. That's just part of you know us not doing the first cutscene or the first part of the cutscene so that's okay alan kind of teleports in here flashes a little bit kind of uh glitching out blinking in and out of existence also i think i'm going to start putting rpg maker music in the background of these videos all right and here's where there's going to be like a just not even i wouldn't even say it's a fight sequence but like a small little action -y kind of sequence alan appears says that he's starting an antivirus protocol tries to get ren ren jumps but he's able to to kind of refocus and still hit him he disappears appears next to the player we probably need to i, I kind of i think i might want to have alan once he teleports right here and he's facing the player i think i want to have him kind of turn down and then kind of fall a little bit you know use the damage sprite and you see we get level one administration privileges. I, I need to change that to administrative. My mustache, man. My mustache is itching. It's itching. Now the player is going to disappear. Ren's going to get real mad. He's going to teleport in front of Alan and just beat the crap out of him. Okay, and that's where it ends. I, I need to work on some dialogue for Ren right there. And then we need to have the screen fade out. And then the player... Uh, or the the, it, the screen fade back in and then the player will be you know at the new area the the new dreamscape area all right real quick let's go to the movement route here alan oh that's not it that's the initial one we want alan to turn right and then we want alan to turn down and then change image to the damage sprite and then dane's gonna ask or deos is gonna ask are you okay alan's then gonna glitch then turn to the right. So let's set movement route, change the image back to the full character and then turn right and then do all of his stuff right there. So I think after he hits Alan a couple times, I think we want Alan to disappear on their own. Yeah, I think we want Alan to disappear on their own and then that way Ren gets angry, has to go look for him and that that will leave you know, Deos to kind of do his thing in the dreamscape. But we'll have Ren say, you need to return to the box I left you in. And then what we want is we want kind of a similar thing that we had up here where he tries to attack Ren or they try to attack Ren and then Ren jumps backwards. Right here. Let's copy all of this, paste this. Ren's gonna do that. Ren's, instead of this jumping, we're gonna have talk with Alan jump and this is going to try to hit hold on a second hold on hold on, hold on. this is gonna look confusing so ren's gonna show an exclamation then rend is gonna jump yeah okay we did that wrong we did that wrong this needs to be rend jumping backwards and the animation target is going to be the square that rend was at not gonna wait for completion this will wait for completion and then we'll show animation teleport on alan so that Alan can, uh, or the darkness teleport so that Alan can get out of there. What color did I make the term AI? 11. Oh, I forgot. I have an RPG maker set for a uh, touch portal. So all I gotta do, it's like a, basically a tablet and it's got all the different colors and 
what text color goes with what type of word and then I just click it and it inputs the code for me. It's great. Absolutely great. So that is the wrong color. This is the one we want. So we need to change that back further up. I'm gonna try a scroll map down right here to see what it looks like when it goes back down to being just Rend and Alan. Wow, this is this is a horrible typo. Jeez. At the moment, Alan is much more important. Deus didn't seem to have any of his real memories, so there shouldn't be much to worry about there. Uh, this is what I get for trying to play the hero. I don't. I think I want to take that line out. We'll actually we'll go. The program will attempt. Okay, hold on. Let's end that there. Start a, a new message. Program should attempt restart itself if it detects errors, so he can't cause too much damage. What a mess. All right, let's watch this cutscene play out again. Or this, well, it's technically the second half. Oh no, I hit new game, no! Also, I forgot to mention the return of the glasses. That's the thing that I just did. Jesus. Like I said, in the actual live environment, the characters will not be here. They'll be, you know, it'll be blank. What? Oh. <laughs> I forgot we changed when we changed image. It must have done it to the player, not <laughs> not the player is Alan. Yeah, that's exactly what we did. We'll rearrange the glitch event right there because I didn't like where it activated. Actually, that map scroll looked great. Oh, uh, there needs to be some formatting right there. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. So what just happened right there? Let's uh, let's minimize this for the time being. Oh, it'll still show you on the video that it's not minimized. Okay, well, we'll look at it after this. So what happened there? When Alan retaliated, oh, it, it tried to attack the wrong thing. It needs to attack talk with Alan. Then Ren, instead of jumping down, needs to jump horizontally. There we go. And when Ren teleports, no animation, Ren teleport in. And what do we have happen there? Oh, okay, it doesn't wait, that's what it is. This, this opacity teleporting in is way too granular, man. We're just gonna go in increments of 50, I think. Change opacity to 200, and we'll wait for 10 seconds. And then basically just do that about four or five times. Now, granted, the, the granularity makes it look really good. Looks nice and fluid, but man, it's like a lot of work. And if I made it a common event, I would have to have a bunch of switches inside the actual event that it's happening to, to cause that to happen. It just becomes a mess. I'd much rather do it this way. And we'll do a, let's do a common event. And then we want to fade out long. I think this should work pretty well. Also, I wanted to change the timing on fade out long. 500 frames, a little too long. Let's do 400 frames. Let's try this again. It's a lot of cutscene testing, but you know, it's something you gotta do. All right, let's see how this looks. Oh, that, that I think looks much better. They teleport over to face the player, turn to the right, look at Deos, and then kind of falls down and glitches out a little bit. Okay, right there, before Alan turns to the right, we want them to give the player, I think we want them to glitch again, then turn to the right. I think that would look like Alan's trying to get up to give Deos this permission. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, Alan did not fade away. And then also when Ren jumps, for some reason he teleports. So we need to put direction fix on. There's a few a few more things we need to fix here. So we need to fix, uh, darkness teleport does not need to wait because we need that to happen at the same time that Ren is fading out. Also, after Alan does the darkness teleport, we need to do the same fade out right here and bring it up here to, to Alan. Change this to Alan and then we want to turn off wait. Let's move Ren's silence up here. And then right here, we'll do a movement route for Ren to turn direction fix off and face down. But right here, we need to turn direction fix on. Run it back. Now I can turn the sound back on for you guys because I finally turned the BGM off in the game. And we hit new game. No! The player will not have the ability to save here. So we don't have to worry about them saving loading back into this and these characters being here fly through all this all of this up to the point where ren and alan are face to face after deos deos has left all of that's fine oh we did not add the glitch before alan got back up we got to do that get deos out of here also we need to move alan's text windows up to the top that looks 
looks good. That's like a, you know, as far as sprites go, that's like a decently animated cutscene, I think. Okay, first thing, let's change Alan's text boxes to be up top. I'm not sure why they aren't already. We want to show the glitch animation. After Alan teleports down to Deus, we want Alan to kind of go down, you know, like turn down into the damage sprite, glitch out. But then when Deus asks Alan if they are okay, we want Alan to kind of glitch again and then turn to face Deus. I believe this will make that look somewhat good. Also, I wonder if there is like a different animation instead of thunder. Let's do, let's do fire instead of thunder. And why didn't Rend, the Rend had direction fix on when they, when he jumped, but then, oh, it turned direction fix off for the player. I mean, I'm so bad about that. I never remember to change that. Fingers crossed that this is the cutscene perfected. Okay. Fingers crossed. And we hit new game again. Oh, well, I'm just going to play through it. Deus is not in the right uniform as we started a new game. That's okay. Make mistakes. My goal here is to set up a lot of weird stuff for the player to not really understand what's going on and then go back to this like fake world that Deus is in and have Deus just live his life out normally for a little while uh, until he finds Alan. Also, I made this little teleport animation down here and I thought it was pretty good because you can see when he hops into the teleporter, there's like some blue dust, you know, that kind of sprinkles down and you can watch, and this is purely by accident, but you can watch, it looks like the blue dust kind of sits there for a second and jumps across the map to the other teleporter and I think it looks really good. Yeah, you see the kind of the dust jump over. I think that looks really good. Also, there's the uh, notification system that we made there. But yeah, I think that's a great looking animation. I like that a lot. I don't want to, you know, to my own horn or anything, but I think I know what I want to add here. I think I want to add a magic casting animation. Also, I need to put in a weight right there because uh, the balloon icon shows up before Alan is completely gone. Okay, there we go. Now Ren faces down. So we're, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. We're, we're not too far off. We're so close. Let's take a look at the animations and see if there's like a skill casting animation. <laughs> Those sound effects are really loud. If we take this one and we change the sound effects, we remove the sound effects, then I think this might work. What is teleport? Teleport is cure. I think this one might work. Let's get rid of these sound effects. Let's just take a look at it. Yeah, this, see this looks like a magic casting animation. What if we do 150%? Let's take it up to 175. Okay. Okay. That's looking pretty good. That looks like a magic casting animation. I have to turn it down to 5% so it doesn't blow your all's ear holes. What is, is there just a magic sound effect? Oh, here we go. I really feel like that's probably the one. Let me turn this down a little bit so y'all don't get destroyed I think I, I think that's the one I really think that might be the one yeah we might change the offset so teleport out starts from the bottom I believe yeah teleport out starts from the bottom and it's offset by 20 so we should probably just go ahead and offset this by 20 to see then we'll call this magic cast also what is the scale 25% Let's go ahead and change this to 25% see what it looks like. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. Does that not look like a character casting magic? Oh, that's going to be so good. Uh, we should probably change the colors though. Maybe just a white. That's on, so this lasts for 30 frames, so this needs to be on frame 40. And then this can be on frame 50. Right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is set to green. Whoops. Delete this first one and let's change this to frame one. What if we just delete these? Change this to maybe 45. Pretty close. All right, I'm gonna have to see what it looks like on a character. Let's go in here and every time magic is cast by Alan, we want Alan to make that animation, uh, that, an that like magic casting animation. And then right here, we want Alan to start the magic cast and we want that to do we want that to wait? I think we want that to wait 
And then when that's done, then Rend will jump back because he sees Alan cast magic. Okay, hopefully this works out. Okay, here we go. Commonly detected antivirus protocol. Oh, that's part of the problem is that we have the player glitching the second time, not Alan. Okay, let's see what this scene looks like. Trying to spread this chapstick on my freaking lips, man. I, my, my lips get so chapped in the winter. You, you don't care. I, why would you care? So we're good. We're good. Now I want to create the base for. Let's go ahead and make uh, like a new map. We're just going to call it Dreamscape. Going to go under main. And then we're going to go new and we're going to, in brackets, call this tutorial. Oh, wait, cancel. Uh, oh, actually, no, we do need that. Uh, let's see. Brackets tutorial i don't know if the size in here dictates the size for the randomly generator or the randomly generator <laughs> the like dungeon randomizer or whatever words are hard man so we're gonna right click this we're gonna click generate dungeon okay it does have to do with the size so let's take this and let's make it like 70 by 57 just a random thing thrown out there. Okay, I'm gonna right click. We're gonna generate dungeon. For the walls, let's use, should we, I kinda wanna do something, let's do this. And for the floor, what floor is supposed to go with this? I guess let's try that. Rooms or a maze? Add margins, wide passages. Let's do wide passages. Can we do wide passages? Let's try wide passages, do this. Let's see what it made for us here. Okay, this, this isn't terrible. I think I can work with this. I think I can work with this. First of all, let's take a look at the parallax background. See what we got here. This is supposed to be a little trippy, so I'm not really worried about like having a particular parallax background, though I feel like having the stars might be the way to go since it is in the dreamscape. But like I can add a few extra rooms in here. Also, there's a thing for show in editor and it doesn't show it. A little weird. Go to the map editor. I'm actually fairly happy with this. I think we'll make a, a room like right in here. What floor tile did we use? I think it was this one, right? Yeah. We just want to zoom in here and we're just going to make a little room right in here. Grab our bucket here. Do that. Take this. Ah! and trace the outline here. I think we're gonna do this for every level of the dreamscape because I really like this. Oh, they use too high. Here we go, and this will be your starting room. See what our layers look like. Why does it only show the parallax here? Oh, because this is the bottom. It's looking good. To finish the video out, I want to go here to the dreamscape teaser, which I need to just change the name of that. It doesn't really make a lot of sense in this context. And then we're going to transfer player to the tutorial room right here okay and then we're going to go into here we're going to make an auto start event that turns uh oh that turns the transparency off and uh, will allow us to move around change transparency off uh, i think that's pretty much it we'll do a self switch oh also we actually need to have the screen fade back in our common event here and we've got a fade in all right let's check out the full cutscene. I, I won't edit any of this we're just gonna watch the full cutscene here oh actually i want to change one one thing real quick one thing we have glitch the second time affecting the player which we don't need to do right here then i want it to wait like 10 frames all right now now we're gonna watch it from from front to back that little flash won't be there don't worry Where am I? Where's the cave entrance? Only thing I can see is a bunch of empty space. And stars? This is a lot like my dreams, but I'm not wearing different clothes like I usually am. I feel like me this time. What is this place? I wonder if Sim and Opal came in after me. Dee Dee, were you gonna let the monsters get me? Who, who are you? Were you the little kid I heard? So you did forget me, Dee Dee. You left me. I would never forget you, Lena. It wasn't my fault. I promise I tried. Whose voice is that? Where are you? 
What the hell is going on? I'm not giving you my best voice acting, but I don't really have good voice acting. <laughs> you left me all alone, all by myself. You were my bestest friend. Why is this making me so sad? I don't even know that girl. I guess there's not much else I can do but try to find my way out of here. We'll do this number. We'll walk over the teleporter because I just love the way this animation turned out. I'm gonna grab the float vest. Go up here and watch this cutscene. Who is that? I've seen that before. He's blinking in and out just like those dreams. Who are you? Bunch of leet speak right there. <laughs> Mr. Ekro, please help. What's happening to him? It's taking user privileges. Help. Who are you? What's happening to you? This is so maddening. I don't know who these people are or where I am. I don't know how to get out of here either. Let's keep it that way. It's it's you. I've seen you before. That is unfortunate. You shouldn't have met me until I was ready for you. Alan is proving to be a lot more trouble than I initially thought. These AI are smarter than we give them credit for. What do you mean AI? Is Alan that man that was just here? Are you the one hurting him? My my, so many questions. AI does not identify as male or female, so you'd be more correct to refer to Alan as they. Not that they'll be around much longer for it to matter. You're not making any sense at all. Are you the one that brought me here? No, but I can make you leave. Anomaly detected, starting antivirus protocol. Nice try, you little. Are you okay? Ekro, permissions updated. Level one administration per, administration privileges granted. Still need to fix that. Level what? I can't understand what you're saying. Help you escape. Good luck. Please help. You useless program. How dare you interfere. This session is no longer under your control. I am the one who has the power here, not you. I'll make sure you learn this time. You need to return to the box I left you in. Why must they be so persistent? This is much more difficult than I thought it would be. Now I have to search for Deus and that stupid AI. At the moment, Alan is much more important. Deos didn't seem to have any of his real memories, so there shouldn't be much much to worry about there. The program should attempt to restart itself if it detects errors so he can't cause too much damage. What a mess. Oh no! Oh no! Did we not have a teleport? We didn't put a teleport player thing in here, did we? Yeah, we did. Fade out, transfer player to tutorial, and player tutorial, fade in long. Yeah, that's, is that not right? That's weird. Not sure why that didn't work. But that's a problem for next episode, okay? <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I feel like we've made a lot of progress, even though it's like literally like 10 minutes of game time. I feel like I've made a lot of progress. I've actually made a few more um, weapons and armor. Well, weapons, you can't see much in here, but I've worked on the uh, upgrade system. There is an upgrade script that comes with the engine. It's like launch DLC. Um, it's a nice little, you know, crafting thing. It's very simple and easy to understand. So we'll go ahead and put it in the game since it did come with the engine. If you made it this far, definitely let me know in the comments if you would like. I know at least one person said that they would like longer form videos. So my goal or my plan is to stream this on Twitch once a week. 
do uh, an RPG Maker stream, and then maybe this becomes the edited version of that. I can either leave the VODs up there if you'd like to watch it on Twitch. I could upload the full, also upload the full length version or close to the full length. There's still stuff I'm gonna cut out, like me, you know, getting things set up to get started and everything. But, you know, close to a full length version kind of in a way that will not uh, create notifications if you kind of want to just watch that for yourself. There's a couple different ways I could do it. So if you have a, if you have a preference, uh, definitely let me know. There are two other RPG Maker games I want to work on. One, we did Dev Diary 04, which is called Another Turn, which is basically just going to be a dungeon runner. And then the second one is there is a kit for RPG Maker XP that will allow you to make Pokemon games. I want to make a Pokemon game. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. I, it would be so much fun to make a Pokemon game. So we're, we're definitely going to be doing that. And, uh, and yeah, we, we still got the Let's Plays going on the side as well. So there's a lot going on. I'm looking forward to the new year. Channel's doing good. The shorts, the RPG Maker shorts are doing excellent. Really, really glad to see the progress that they've made there. Thank you all so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you want to see more RPG Maker content. There is 100% going to be more RPG Maker content going straight into RPG Maker Unite. Hopefully we'll have a project done by then so that we can push that project to the side and work on something new in RPG Maker Unite. So if you'd like me to cover Unite news as well, we can do that. There's also another series that I'm working on that I think is going to uh, be very cool. And I have dubbed the series, I'll give you a little preview here. I've dubbed the series Create a Me create dash a dash mechanic. So create a mechanic. And essentially we're gonna look at mechanics and uh, in other popular RPGs, or we're just gonna make up mechanics of our own. And I'm gonna show you in a tutorialized way, step by step, how to make those mechanics. So the first one that we'll be doing is a switch puzzle. And uh, it'll be along the lines of there are nine switches, so three rows of three. When you press one button, all the surrounding buttons will be also be pushed. And your goal is to get all the buttons pushed at the same time. So that'll be uh, that'll be something cool to look forward to. But this this outro, it's not an intro, it's an outro. It's running a little long. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.